Chronicles, chapter 7, wow. verse 14. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If my people, yeah. I'll be sad. Yeah. If my people, yeah. 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 if my people, yeah. who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then will I heal from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. May God add a blessing to the reading of the word. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain yes. to break every chain, break every chain to break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. God has given us prayer with power. We must learn how to pray every hour. Prayer is wisdom and power. The enemy doesn't want you to pray this hour. He would rather confuse you and let you go astray on today. Amen. Hallelujah. Prayer is quiet when you pray in a quiet place and listen and God will talk. Prayer opens doors that no man can close. We need not to doze. Prayer feeds the spirit man. Prayer supersedes your greatest expectations. Prayer to God can give you the right relations. Hallelujah. Prayer is essential for everyday life. When we pray, it keeps everything away from us the bitterness and the strife. Yes. Amen. Yes. Prayer breaks every stronghold. Prayer builds our faith. Amen. Prayer gives strength. Prayer heals depression. Prayer it opens the prison doors. Amen. Prayer will give you favor with God. Amen. Prayer will put the enemy to a flight. Amen. Prayer will make every situation all right. Prayer will get us to the right direction. Prayer will cause us to have the right connection. You need the right connection with God and His prayer is the answer. Prayer, hallelujah, when, pray, when things are going wrong, pray when you need to be strong. Prayer is the things that are tight, but God will make it right. We know that prayer is the key to all our answers. Prayer delivers, sets free, and prayer is for you, and prayer is for me. Thank God for the reading of prayer. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God a praise. Amen. Amen. And we know that the cross is the most agonizing, hard time of Jesus' life. Amen. And that just lets us know that in those times of hard situations,
Lord told her to start a prayer ministry at 5 o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday, five days a week. And she started this prayer ministry. And today, we have 31 states praying together. Sanctified. Hallelujah. Filled with the Holy Ghost power. So we're going to lose her. Somebody say, Lose her. Lose her. Now give your God a praise as this woman of God. Thank you. 
the Bauna had it even here last night. But God is good and us thank God. So that's the first miracle. Thank you, Jesus. That's the whole miracles in the house. And if you need a miracle today, all you have to do is plug in. That's right. Him to do. 
Thank you, Jesus. Prayer is the intensive desire. Romans 8 and 26 says, The Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. But yes. well, we know not what we should pray for as we are. We don't really know. That's, right. That's why we labor for Him. Mm -hmm. That's why we prostrate ourselves before Him. Yes. But the Spirit itself mm -hmm. make an intercession for us yes. with groanings yes. which cannot be uttered. Sometimes we just have to groan before the Lord. We don't know what to pray for. We don't know what to say. Sometimes we're in such a dilemma. I don't know about you, but I've been there. You see, I was a young woman saved with an unsaved husband. Y'all know what unsaved husbands do. They do what they do. Thank you, Jesus. They do what they want to do. You might see them at midnight, and you might see them 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. But I Hallelujah. To just lay before God for the groanings that, that cannot be uttered. Sometimes in tears. Midnight tears. Hallelujah. But God is a keeper. The Holy Ghost is a keeper. Prayer is the key to miracles. There's a miracle in this house. Hallelujah. All we have to do is just pray sometimes. Just pray. Give him your life. Just pray for him. He worked miracles. He worked with Peter. He worked it for Elijah. He worked it for Hannah. He worked it for Hezekiah. Oh, we can think of so many people in Bible days that he worked miracles for. And you know what? A saints of God, he's the same God right now. Hallelujah. He's right now God. You might not feel this to anybody. And I declare to you before you leave here today, if you just put your mind on it, if you put your ailment to one of these lights, I'm telling you, I've seen, I've seen God work here. I've seen God raise the dead. And I'm not just saying that, but I've seen God raise the dead. I know the power of God. I know what God can do. Thank you, Jesus. All we have to do is trust Him and believe in what He'll do. Thank you, Jesus. We have some of our witnesses today. You can look at Stephanie. And you can look at some of you in this room. You can look at my first lady, Iris, has cancer for the last 12 years, in and out of the hospital. Thank you, Jesus. And just, oh my God, the enemy wanted to take her out so many times. But God, oh my God. You see, cancer wasn't just enough. So he afflicted the body with so many other ailments. But look at God. And God keep bringing her to church. Sometimes she take baby steps. But she comes to the house of God. Thank you, Jesus. And we look at so many people that we hear on the prayer ministry line. And, and you know, people that you really know. And you just see what God has done. He's the same God. So we're talking today about the power of prayer. Prayers are not just talking to God. It also involves, involves listening yes. to what he has to say yes. to us yes. in the spirit. Yes. We have to have a listening ear. Yes. Right. Right. Our heart has yes. to be right. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Prayer is communication. When we pray, we must expect God to speak. Yes. He'll speak, but you must expect him to speak. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Most often, he'll do it through his word, and sometimes he'll do it through a still small voice. Right. But he speaks to our hearts. Yes. Sometimes he'll give us a vision or an interpretation of what we are praying for in our heavenly language. Yes. That means other talk. Yes. Sometimes I'm telling you, I'm a witness. You know, a lot of times we just speak in tongues at home and God will interpret yes. you. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. It's not wise to hesitantly throw all of our requests on God and immediately in our prayers. That's what we do sometimes. I already stated, that's what we do sometimes. But that's not why. He wants us to just wait in his presence and he'll speak to you. He, whatever you need, he'll give it to you. But you have to wait. One thing I find out, you cannot hurry God. You can't hurry. He's coming, but you can't hurry. Because I wanted him yesterday. I wanted him to do it yesterday. How about you? So we have a lot of time for a lot of time for him to respond 
by speaking to our hearts. Oh, yeah. The Bible lets us know that there's a custom war going on in prayer. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. You get on your knees yes. and you start to pray. Yes. A lot of times they're telephone oh, pray. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> Sometimes people will knock on the door. Right. Sometimes the American Great Children yes. come. Yes. You know, and things just happen when you try to elbow your way yes. through God to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank oh, but we cannot be distracted. Right. We have to stay there. Hallelujah. The wall is between the flesh and the spirit. Yes. It's similar sometimes. We that have had children and we're going through birth. Sometimes you know what pressure is. Sometimes it's, it's it's really a work. Yeah. And so it's prayer. Yeah. You have to elbow your way to get to the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And we women that have had children, yeah. sometimes we have to sweat, pushing yeah. you. You're in agony. Oh, but you have to persevere. Okay. You have to keep yes. on, keep it on, <laughs> until you get into the presence of God. Right. And once you elbow your way through to the presence of God, right. I tell you, you get to right. yeah. God. Yeah. Hallelujah. It was worth the work that you had to go through to get into the presence of God. Thank you. It is difficult to get into the presence of God. The desires of the flesh and the the spirit of God to manifest itself. There are times when we have to just lay. Well, I'm talking about laying. I'm talking about getting on the floor. Hallelujah. On the floor for And just stay there and you can hear from me. He'll answer you. But you got to have a mind. To just stay there. You can't be hurriedly. You can't have nothing else on your mind to do. Cook before you get down. There. Wash before you get down. There. Don't have nothing on your mind. Yes, just get down there. And say, Lord, as long as it takes, I'm going to stay here until you do what I need you to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There are times when we have to just stay frustrated. We have to clear our minds of some things and listen to the voice of God. He will speak. And I tell you about listening to the voice, you have to know the enemy's voice too. Because he tries to imitate. He tries to be right there and just tries to just strike you and try to do everything to keep you from getting into the presence of God. Ephesians 6 and 18 says, pray always. Always. We got to have an always prayer. We got to have the spirit of prayer. We have to have an attitude of prayer. You can't just pray, you know, but you have to, you have to pray, pray, pray. I've been in the kitchen sometime and, and the spirit of prayer come on. This is before I learned that. And I would run from the kitchen to the bedroom and fall on my knees. And then that, that left you know, it just went away. Yeah, because you have to, wherever you come, just get it right in. Right, I'm telling you, you have to get it right in. Thank you, Jesus. You can't apply no time for the enemy, because he is so true. Hallelujah. He'll come and he'll just right and take everything away from you that you started. So we must pray always and with prayer and supplication in the spirit. Yes. And watch it there run to with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. This is what Paul said in Ephesians 6 and 18. And Paul said in Ephesians 6 and 10, he says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Paul said, put on the whole on the Lord. He said, we'll be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Because the devil has some tricks. Yes, he has some tricks that if you ain't very careful and don't know the spirit of God, he's going to come in and get you. And not only that, he'll make it seem right. He'll make it seem it's all right. Oh, but he's a liar.
warrior here today. Yes, a warrior must be committed. Mm -hmm. She must be steadfast yes, and focused. Yes, she must have your wall yes, closed on you. Yes, when you think about the military people, can't be entangled with the affairs of the war, of the world. Uh, That's the way it is with a saint of with a saint of God. We have to know that we serve in God. We have to know that we love the Lord our God. And we don't want no parts of Satan. We don't want no parts of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. We have to be set apart. Hallelujah. And be and be ready and you know, but the master's you have to be usable. He can't use us any kind of way. He can't use a lot. He can't use a bad thing. He can't use a fornicator. Yeah. He's worried. He's concerned about a total man. Amen. He wants all of us to be clean. Thank you, Jesus. That's, right. That's, That's the right. only way we're going to please the Lord. Right. We yeah. have to be clean yeah. inside and out. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Our bodies have to be clean. Yeah. Present your body a living sacrifice, yeah. holy yeah. and acceptable yeah. unto God, which is your reasonable service. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God today. So I just want to encourage the sex of God today to just put, you know, don't be slight with your prayer life. You know, just be encouraged. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Make a conscious effort, a conscious yes. decision today <coughs> to recommit or commit your life to the will of God. Your daily prayers of consecration and dedication to God. Yes. Be sure that your prayers are according to his will. Yes. Because St. John, 1 John rather, 5 yes. said, this is the confidence yes. that we have in him. If we ask anything, yes. anything. Yes. anything. Yes. You know, sometimes we don't believe God. <laughs> but he says if we ask anything yes. according yes. to yes. his will, yes. he heareth us. Yes. And if we know yes. that he hear us, yes. we have that we have asked of him. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, when we leave this prayer conference, yes. we want to try. We want to try him in the areas that we have not been trying to try in the folk. Yes. We want to say to him, Lord, that lady said that you said this. Yes. And I'm trying you, God, because she said it. Yes. And I'm only giving you what the word of God says. Yes. So let's try the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank God today for the word. And our topic, as I said, is the power of prayer. Now, what is the power of prayer? Yes. We talk about prayer so much, don't we, y'all? Thank you. Yes. I mean, we just talk, 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 talk. But what is the power of prayer? Number one, I believe having a dedicated prayer life. I believe power comes when you have a dedicated prayer life. Not just maybe I pray today. I ain't gonna pray no more the next week. I ain't gonna pray no more until I need something. No, that's not the way it works. Thank you, Jesus. We have to have a dedicated prayer life. Now, there are many answers to this question about what is a prayer life. I believe that the power of prayer is first felt inside of us. I believe it's on the inside, and then it, it manifests itself on the outside. Once you have it on the inside, you know, you have that connection. That's right. See the lights connected? You have that connection with God. Yes. But if you don't have that connection, you don't have a, a prayer, a powerful prayer life. Because you know what? Sin will disconnect you. Unrighteousness will disconnect you. Thank you, Jesus. The power of prayer is a power that comes to us when we realize that God can be our point of reference in the midst of all the confusion of our daily lives. Yes. The steadfastness of God rather than the incompleteness of our sins. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's the point of reference 
in the midst of everything that's going on. We still have a prayer life. Yes, we still can go to God. Yes, the enemy is on my track. Yes, yes, the doctors gave me a bad report. Yes, my husband walked out on me and left me with my children. But I have a point of contact with God. I have to Thank you, Jesus. I know you do better when they walk out. What am I
that to you. But you know what? You have to be honest. Uh, thank you, Lord. Yeah, Lord, I'm like, 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 I tell you, Lord, I don't like what you need. I, I, I almost told her something, Lord. I need you to help me now. I ain't feeling just like water right now, Lord. I'm not feeling just right toward him right now, Lord. But if you help me, if you help me, if you deliver me out of this, I'll be all right. Lord, I want you to know that I'm, 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 I'm feeling that. And I know it ain't the way all the kids are. We have to confess our souls. You know, you see too, he'll deliver us. But you can't go around playing and act like this is not a play play thing. No, it's not. You can't go around playing and acting like I'm all right and I'm all right. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will pray. He's praying. And I want you to know. He's healed. He's healed. Thank you, Jesus. So I thank God today for the power of prayer. Now, we talked about the power of prayer. How to pray with all this power. Yeah. How to pray with this power. How? In order to pray with power, I believe I'm a firm believer that we must have power. Right. Yes. You can't pray with power. You ain't got no power. You stay down there all day and ain't got no power. You can't get up the same way. But you need power. And the Bible says in Acts, the first chapter, and the eighth verse, well, you shall receive power. Yeah. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yeah. And you're going to yeah. be witnesses. And so as well, we're going to be witnesses. <coughs> but you know what? A lot of people, and church is teaching this, that you don't need the Holy Ghost no more. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. A That's a sad thing. How are we going to get up? How are we going to be? How are we going to do that? We don't have no power. You need to have the Holy Ghost power. Yes. And when you have the Holy Ghost power in your life, <coughs> God will show you some things. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. That's right. He'll, he'll, he'll show you and he'll do it. Why? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. from that thing that you were going to get into. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost power is on you. Yes. Some people, we must stay connected to the power source. Yes. As stated in St. John, the 15th chapter, and verse four verses. Jesus said, I am the true God. Yes. And my Father is the Lord of man. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we must stay connected to the Bible. If we don't stay connected, we're going to wither away. That branch, we are the branches. But if we don't stay connected to that vine, we just gonna wither away. And I don't know about you, but my husband was a gardener. And when you get ready to, you know, cut the branches away, then you cut them away from the from the vine. And they fall to the ground. And guess what they do? They turn brown, right? Because they're not connected to the source. Hallelujah. Unplug the light, Sam. See what happened? The lights went out, right? Because she disconnected the light from the source. These lights within themselves, they don't have no power. You can raise them all you want to. You can do anything you want to. But they don't have no power. Because they're not connected to the source. Hallelujah. We have to stay connected to the source. And our prayer life keeps us connected to the source. That's right. And once we get back connected to the source, our light comes back on. But we have to stay connected to the source. We have to stay, keep our prayer life up. That's Keep right. our spirit up. Yeah. Right. Keep our mind elevated. Right. And most of all, keep your heart right. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Because we have to have pure heart. Yeah. The Bible says, blessed are the pure yeah. heart, but they shall see God. Yeah. Our hearts have to be pure. Yeah. So today, anything in any of our heart saints, we need to get rid of. Because yeah. you know what? Tomorrow, not tomorrow, the next minute, is not a cause to my pastor's a mother, she was up testifying her life one night. And before she could finish testifying, the Lord called her home. Oh, wow. Just like that. I mean, he's just calling just like that. So we just don't know when 
He's going to call us. That's right. But if anything in your heart today, and you know it's in your heart, I just want to encourage you to get it out your heart. Ask the Lord to come in and forgive you, and he'll do just that. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husband. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he's going to take it away. If you don't bear no fruit, he can't use you. He's going to take it away. And every branch that bears fruit, he's going to purge you. You know, the gardeners sometimes, they have, to, they have to fertilize. They have to water. They have to plant some, sometimes some kind of uh, plant food. So it'll keep growing. Mm -hmm. And so it is without a lot. We flip in this, we flip in the switch from the natural to the spiritual. We have to prune that stuff away. We have to get rid of everything in us that's not like God. Thank you, Jesus. He will purge us. He will show us. All we have to do is so wonderful and know that God, all we have to do is just work on a pure heart. Amen. No more do they have to go and get pigeons and all those things, Amen. sacrifices. Amen. All we have to do, thanks to God, is repent. Amen. And repentance is for everybody. Amen. God have mercy to never be from the person that thinks they don't never need it to repent. Amen. Never need to ask me to forgive them. And you done stepped all over me. You done did everything you thought you could to hurt me. And don't never need to ask me to forgive you. Right. Come on, saints. Yeah. Don't be like that. Yeah. And a lot of people like that. Yeah. They so. So. Hard. So unholy. So unrighteous. So My God. But I thank God today. I have to clean through the word that I've spoken unto you. Hallelujah. We're clean now. Yes, yes sir. Word of God. Thank Abide in me, he says, and I am you. That's right. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, mm -hmm. yes. except it abide in the vine. That's right. Hallelujah. You cannot bear fruit except you abide right. in God's word. That's right. You That's right. must abide That's in right. what he told us to do. And everything he said from Genesis to Revelation yeah. is for us it's to do. So right. You can't do the part we like right. and lay aside the other part and don't like that. That's right. We have to eat the whole roll. Right. Eat the whole. He told one of the old prophets to eat the whole roll. Right. We have to eat it all. Sometimes right. it's bitter to it. Right. Right. It don't always taste good. Right. They don't talk about me and did everything and I got to love them. Oh. I got to love my enemies and I know my enemies. But he told me to do it. Right. And you know what? He made a way for me to do it. Right. Hallelujah. And I can do it. But I have to stay steadfast in God. I have to stay on my knees. I have to keep the ground real turning. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm trying to stay within my time. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do a little role play. Like me, some of y'all in the audience. I don't know. But the others that I thought your sister did to She not here. All right, Sister Dobson is here, and Stephanie is here. I tell you what we're going to do, I might need you guys to move over with me. I told y'all I ain't got too much style. I just, I just do it. So whatever I do, that's going to do. We need to be here. So what we're going to do, y'all, we're going to have a, a little roll thing in here.
hand of his neighbor. Him will I cut off. Him that has a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Girl, let me tell you about Sister Joy. She is uh -oh. speaking in tongues, and I know her and her left. They had a big argument the other night. So now she is something I let. Don't tell nobody what I'm going to be ready to tell you. I'm going to keep the people out there. I'm going to talk to everybody in church. I'm going to talk to you about this. When she was out there, the girl, she told me she was way out there. She was going up and down, shouting at piano. Oh, honey, I got too much respect. I don't know about you, but, you know, but I love it anyhow. <laughs> We have to love her with the love of the Lord. Because the Bible says we have to walk in love. So we just have to love her for who she is and pray for her. Instead of coming to me talking about her, you can just pray for her and then go to God with that situation. And then she will be delivered. Amen. 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 Our light 
those lights mean our lights are shining. So we are extending our light outside of these walls. When we go outside of these walls, somebody gonna know we've been with Jesus. Somebody gonna know that our lights are shining. So she gonna, they gonna just bring them whichever way up. They get in the middle. They get in the middle. Look at them. They are extending them. Look at those beautiful lights. That's how we look to the world. That's how you and I, if our lights are shining, that's how we look to the world. And the world needs to see. They need to see a light shine. The world needs to see somebody that know that they are saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Because the world is in darkness. Yes. Yes. People is all around. Yes. Homosexuality. Yes. Lesbian. Yes. Yes. All kind of party. Yes. All kind of sex. Yes. Children having sex today. Yes. Little girls yes. having babies. That's right. That's My God. That's right. So we need to extend ourselves yes. outside yes. these walls. Too many times we keep it in the church. That's right. Uh -huh. All, all the people we're testifying is already saved. That's right. That's but we right. need to That's extend right. today. And these lights is an extension of us going out to the world. Yes. Telling them that they can be yes. saved. Yes. Telling them that they need a Savior. Yes. Yes. Telling them that Jesus is soon to come. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That's the power of prayer. Yes. So when we got the power of prayer in our lives, we can help somebody. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Young man called me the other night just before I left. And sometimes he comes to noonday prayer. And he was concerned that, that he keeps coughing and his body is, he's really, he's thinking about AIDS. Thinking he might really have AIDS. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a world out there and we need to tell them about the goodness of God. Yes. We need to tell them that fornication is wrong. Amen. On every side, it's wrong. Yes. However it looks, and however nice you got that kind of make it, it's still wrong. Because you're sinning against your own body. Yes. And that's sin. Thank you, Jesus. So here we are today. As you hold in hands, I'm going to pray. And sister, uh, where is that young lady that's on broke every day? Maybe you bless me today. And then you just bless me and you bless me with the scripture. I tell you, I said, Holy Ghost is just here. Yeah. Now, I had already asked this to Dotson to sing that song. I wish I had known you was here. I would have come up and sang it for you. But we're going to sing softly that song about uh, break every chain. And as we pray, God's going to break some chains today. But you got to get it in your mind. Whatever light you might have chosen, that blue light, Father. I don't know what light you chose. I don't know which one you chose. But just know that whatever you chose is in that life. And God is going to break every chain today. God is going to heal bodies today. God is going to set somebody free. I was bound one time. I was talking about bound. God knows I was saved. But I was bound. I tell you, that thing just kept on bothering me. Every morning I got up. Get in the shower, all I could do was just, that thing just bothered me. It bothered me. Come on, baby, and stay with me. It bothered me. But oh, one day, one day, Pastor Carrie, he set me free. And I've been free from that thing ever since. So I know what it is to be bound. If you bound today by anything, God's going to break your reach. Come on, baby. Stay with me. There is power. There is power today. They're going to sing it softly. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. To break every chain, let him break it. Break every chain, break every chain. Thank you, God. To break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Break every chain, God. There is power. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
prayer of deliverance. Jesus. As I speak, you repeat after me. Because I believe that there is power of deliverance that's resting in this house. There is healing. Whatever you want done, it can be done in the name of Jesus Christ. It's in your mouth. Yes. Glory be unto God. <coughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus. I repent of any sins in my life. I repent of any sins in my life. Or my ancestor life. Or my ancestor life. That resulted in a curse. That resulted in a curse. I repent of all disobedience. I repent of all disobedience, rebellion, rebellion, perversion, perversion, witchcraft, witchcraft, adultery, adultery, lust, lust, adultery, adultery, fornication, fornication, mistreatment of others, mistreatment of others, murder, murder, cheating, cheating, lying, lying, sorcery, sorcery, divination and occult involvement. And ask for your forgiveness. Ask for your forgiveness. And cleansing through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And cleansing through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I take authority over. I take authority over. And break any and every curse upon my life. And break any and every curse upon my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name all curses of poverty. I break all curses of poverty. Lack. Lack. Debt. Debt. Destruction. Destruction. Sickness. Sickness. Death. Death. And vagabond. And vagabond. I break all curses on my marriage. I break all curses on my marriage. Family. Family. Children. Children. And relationships. And Rejection. I break curses of rejection. Pride. Pride. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lust hurt. Lust hurt. Incest. Incest. Rape. Rape. Come on and speak it. Ahab. Ahab. Jezebel. Jezebel. Fear. Fear. Insanity. Insanity. Madness and confusion. Madness and confusion. I break all curses affecting my finances. I break all Damn! 
therefore, therefore I, confess I confess that Abraham blessings are mine.
brother here today. I honor you today because God has gathered you today. You're not here by happenstance or just circumstance. You are here because you have been gathered here today by God. I am just so elated to be another mother of the gospel. Yes. Woman of God, you just did my soul good. Yeah. I've been get on the prayer line now at 5 o'clock. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody has a prayer line. Not everybody should have a prayer line. But when I know that there is a true word of God and a true woman of God behind teaching and preaching nothing but the gospel, the simple truths. It's just the simple truths that you gave us here, demonstrated by the light. Amen. God, God, God says that we are the light of the world. Amen. We should shine. We should be a city, city on top of the hill. Amen. So I want you to sing today, and then we're going to go ahead and go next door. I know the food is absolutely wonderful here because I've eaten a lot, and we're going to go next door and enjoy ourselves. But I am so elated to be with the saints of God. I am just simple. I don't know how to be anything else. God called me, and he called me just the way that I am. That's Amen. Right. Just the way that That's I am. But I want you to look at the person next to you and tell them, unleash. Unleash. Go ahead, tell them again. Unleash. Unleash. Come on, one more time. Say, unleash. Unleash. See, Holy Spirit has been unleashing some of yeah, yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. What a night. Many of you waiting for a lot of words. Hey, 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 hey. It means simply yeah, just let it hey, hey, go. Hey, 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 if you will, I'm, I just preach the gospel. I don't know nothing else. I, I'm not being in fair and all that other stuff. I came for a word today, and I have a word for yes. you today. Yes. Matthew 6. Turn with me to Matthew 6. Matthew 6. Matthew 6. Glory unto the Lamb of God. Matthew 6. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you believe God today? How many of you believe Him today? Did you believe that He's your Father today? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 6. Are you there? If you stand, please. God, he doesn't need you to stand, but we want you to respect the word of God. Amen. Matthew 6, starting at verse 1, says, Take heed that you do your terrible deeds before men to be seen by others. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Right. That your charitable deed may be in secret, and your father, who sees in secret, will himself reward you openly. That's and right. when you pray, yeah. you shall not be like the hypocrites. That's right. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues That's right. and on the corners of the streets. Mm -hmm. And they may be seen by men. That's Surely right. I say to you, they have their reward. They got them. But you, when you pray, go into your room and when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you need of before you ask Him. In this manner, therefore, pray. That's right. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
but yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. The word that I'm going to give to you tonight is from verses 10. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Look at somebody and tell them it's praying time. It's praying time. You can see it in the presence of the Lord. We are blessing God for this prayer conference. For Jesus said in Luke 18 that man ought to always pray. And in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, the word of God tells us to pray without ceasing. In other words, we must be persistent in our prayers because the effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. And in this season, especially now, sis, it's time to pray. Tell somebody it's time to pray. Prayer is the fuel that will keep you hoping in times of hopelessness. Prayer will keep you grounded when you want to give up. That's right. Prayer will keep you stable when all else around you seems to be perishing. That's right. 1 John 5, 14 to 15 says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we've asked for. You see, this tells me that when I pray, when I communicate with my dad, I can pray with confidence, assurance, because I know I'm his child, and he's my father, and my words which will be his words will call me to approach his throne and the throne of grace being fully persuaded that if I ask anything according to his will, not my will, but according to his will, he hears me. And since I know he hears me when I pray because I his beloved child, then whatever I ask of my father according to his will, I can rest in knowing that I have what I ask for. I'm going to wait. I need to leave that part first. Uh, do you believe that? I, I had to lay that as the promise. You got to know, first of all, that he's your father and that you're his child. He's not God, abstract somewhere, he's your father. Say he's my father. Come on, make an instrument and say he's my dad. So whatever it is that you may be dealing with in this season, God said, I heard your prayer. I remember my covenant. I see where you are. Your struggle. Yeah. Right there, you need to give him some praise. Right there. Just the fact that he said, I hear, I remember, I see, and I know. That's good news to somebody because you've been trying to make sense of the situation, that trial, and that turmoil that's been brewing all around you. The more you serve God, the worse it gets. It seems that the attacks have intensify. The more you think you're on the right track, you feel sometimes that you're out there somewhere in the field. As if though you're fighting a war that I cannot comprehend. I can't comprehend. Uh, see, the thing is, I would speak to the war, but I don't know what it is. It's as if though a spirit of confusion and this Understanding has been released against me in my place of employment. Therefore, many may have been feeling emotionally drained.
is in a very strange warfare. The enemy is coming to make you feel emotionally drained, mm. mentally challenged, or physically tired. Mm. So we have come this afternoon to encourage you to press. Tell somebody yes. to press. Yes. Because God says he hears, yes. he remembers, yes. he sees, yes. and he knows. Tell somebody that God said. He hears, he remembers, he sees, and he knows. So tell somebody, God knows all about it. My father knows all about it. My father is very well acquainted with where I am in this season. More recently, I've come to understand and realize that the body of believers at large are under siege. Crisis seems to become all around us. Mm. Crisis in our marriages mm. are at an all-time high. Many of us are encountering crisis in our walk with God because we become so preoccupied with obtaining things right. instead of getting our hearts right with right. God. Therefore, we find ourselves in financial crisis simply because we fail to become good stewards over that which the Lord has entrusted into our hands. I don't know if you notice, but there has been a great falling away in the house of God, which is a sign of the times in which we live today. We have walked away from the principles of God.
is laden with many prayers. Some great, some small, but nonetheless powerful. For they accomplished what they were set out to do. But tucked away in the Gospels, nestled inside of Matthew 6, some called it the Lord's Prayer. Some called it the Model Prayer. But today, it is what you should pray. It's what you should pray. Let's start in Matthew 5 first to build a foundation. Jesus began to teach basic foundation. Basic foundational truth of the kingdom of God. Through something some of you call the Sermon on the Mount or the Beatitudes. Jesus taught that when we as Christians posture ourselves in these behaviors and attitudes, we will be a living example of what the kingdom of God looks like. What are they? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn. For they shall be comforted. Yes. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. So, for therefore they persecuted the prophets, so shall they persecute you. But he didn't stop there. Jesus took it a little bit further when he taught his disciples how the kingdom of God operates and what it should look like when we should be representing him as king in his kingdom. As a disciple, Jesus said we are to be salt and light. Yes. Right. Yes. Not pepper and darkness. Wow, wow. Your righteousness must exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. In other words, your righteousness has to go higher than your religion. Or you will be by no means enter into the kingdom of God. He said murder and anger are twins. And they both begin in the heart. And they both will cause judgment to come upon you. Lust and adultery are from the same heart. And they will cost you more than you are willing to pay. Marriage to God is sacred and binding. And in the kingdom there are laws and ordinances in place that you should govern yourself by in your marriage. He says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Stop swearing to things that does not belong to you. Do good unto others, especially those who don't deserve it. Love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be a son or daughter in the kingdom of heaven. When you bless someone in need, do not put it on blast. Do it in secret. And your heavenly Father, who sees all things done in secret, will reward you openly. Then I heard Jesus say in my sanctified mind, Now let me give you the key that you would need to get you through your hard times, your low valleys, or your steep mountains to climb. Or when you have to cross your Red Sea, it's called prayer. Somebody pray. When you pray, remember you are who you are praying to. Because all prayer should be directed to our Father. And this is how I want you to pray. 
praying in order to be effective. Not give me, fix me, show me, bless me, help me, save me. But he says, when you pray, pray this. Pray thy kingdom come. Pray thy will be done. Because the Bible tells us to seek he first. The kingdom of God above all else. And live righteously. And he will give you everything else you think you need. Your father knows what you are in need of. Your virgin might say something like this, but seek he first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. But pray first. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's right. This is our Father's will for his children. That we as children pray for the kingdom of God and his will to be manifested here on earth as in heaven. When we pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done, we are asking the Father to establish order. Yes. 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 Amen. Establish order in this place. In this place. That's right. Establish order in my situation. That's it. Establish order on my job. Establish order in my mouth. Yes. Establish order in yes. my shoes. Come on, say the kingdom of God is in you. Many of you waiting for the bishop to 
me somebody to lay hands on you. But since I have the kingdom in me, Selling all kinds of things. Right. 
Well, Jesus became upset. Why he became upset? He became upset because they weren't representing the kingdom. They weren't representing. You act out the building, but you're not representing my kingdom. You are inside selling things that you shouldn't be selling. And all of those who need healing are on the outer court. So Jesus came into the house. He surveyed his father's house. And he stood in the middle and said, my father's house. to make 
us anew, to sharpen us as a threshing instrument. His purpose is to have a church with his mind and with his purpose. This, what we're doing today, sis, is not birth from you, but it was birth from God. Because you have the mind of Christ. Yes, I God. need a people who have my mind yes. and have my purpose on their mind. Yes. Then the kingdom will be established. The Lord is blowing right now upon us. He says, I need a people to demonstrate my purpose here on earth. Yes. All right. I need a people who will stand in the face of adversity okay. and say God still reigns. Yes. All right. He says, I need an army who will come forth to break up the enemy's strategies wow. to display my will on earth. You see, it's going to take an army. Hallelujah. The baby's ticket, there's an army arising again. Yeah, there he is. Hallelujah. There is an army rising. Right. And we are battle ready yes. for the kingdom of God to be displayed here Let on earth. Listen to me. God is real. I'm going to say His word heals. Yes. His word delivers. Yes. His word restores. Yes. And His word sets free. Did you hear that?
If it hasn't worked by right now, it ain't gonna work. There you go. You know what the toll is. Because it's taking toll on your life.
So the Lord knows the house. They then labor, labor in vain. The things that you build up, you must dismantle. When we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, God will answer. He wouldn't have told us to pray it if he wasn't going to answer. He says, when you pray, our Father, who are in It's inside. 
is inside of you. Is inside of me. Is inside of you. Is inside.